So we're here again at the Old Man of Stowe in Sutherland, Northern Scotland in the Highlands. And um, while I'm waiting for my photography friends to uh, to join me again after sunset, I thought I'd uh, shoot a quick video on um, wave structure and exposure times, uh, shutter speeds, etc. To get that really, really nice sort of milky. Um, emotive feel to seascape photography um, as you can see there you've got the uh, the stack and um, a really wild um, vicious sea coming if in off the north minch the north atlantic okay so equally um, you can shoot as i've said in previous videos you can shoot um, waves when you're quite close to them um, and get the arch, the crash, uh, you know, the, the, the traditional wave sort of uh, feel, uh, and you can freeze, freeze that, uh, that image, you know, by one, one five hundredth, a thousandth of a second, that sort of thing, you know. Uh, in these conditions, sunrise and sunset, this being sunset, it's very, very hard to do. Um, so, what I tend to do is um, I'm typically shooting a scene, uh, maybe, uh, half a second up to 10 seconds depending on the the actual feel of the uh, of the scene you can see here hopefully there's large waves crashing diagonally into the actual um, the cliffs yeah so that would uh, anything above a second would uh, would really sort of blur that into a, into a white sheen across the actual uh, bottom right hand corner of the scene okay uh, equally, uh, if you look at the stack um, directly in the middle, uh, you can see that there's some really nice wave structures in and around the stack itself, yeah? So typically, um, I'd take a longer lens, maybe um, something of 100 millimeter and above to get out to that uh, stack. Um, I'd stick a, an ND graduated filter on. Um, I'll show you what that is. I've got a, a six grad here. And that fits over the top, bringing the scene, the top hand, uh, the, the sky, giving the sky a bit more structure. I'll just take it away again and lower it, as you can see. OK, but uh, typically I'd want to surround that stack in, um, in a sort of, in a milkiness, yeah? To give it a, an unearthly, a weird sort of ethereal sort of feel to it. And typically I'd be shooting at around about five seconds and up to get that feel, okay? The later you go into the day, the later you go into the evening, this is uh, probably 10 minutes after sunset now, uh, typically uh, it'll be around about 20 seconds to get a decent exposure, uh, depending on obviously your aperture and your ISO. Uh, I try and keep my ISO as low as possible uh, to keep the grain out of the picture. The higher the ISO, the more grain that you have. So. Yeah. Okay, another short video. Thanks very much for looking. Uh, please feel free to subscribe to Chorley Photographic Society on YouTube. Thank you very much. Till next time.